Hey guys, someone does gaming here. I hope you guys are well and doing good today. Got another video for you guys re uh, regarding Pokemon Go. This is going to be a quick update video. Um, there has been a few updates in the past week or so. Uh, Pokemon Go has received a new update, as well as iOS as well. iOS version has received the up uh, update for a while now as well. So what I've done is, um, before we go into it, I have updated my iOS software, if I show you, um, to iOS 10.0.2 so this is the latest version of iOS that is now available so this is what is now updated to 10.0.2 in my previous video I was on 9.3.5 so now we're on iOS 10 and um, yes yeah, so I'm going to show you guys Pokemon Go uh, along with the PokeGo++ hack on iOS 10.0.2 um, a few more notes to point out is your Pokemon Go has also been updated if we go into the App Store uh, that's not what I want to see. There we go. That's what I want to see. Pokemon Go um, app. Here's the Pokemon Go. If we scroll down, um, where are you? There we go. So Pokemon Go, September 24th, 2016. Last updated version number 1.9.0. So what's new with this version? So you get basically a capture location. So it shows you the location of where you caught your Pokemon. Um, in the information screen of the Pokemon. So I believe before this update it used to show you like a little mini map or where you caught your Pokemon um, But now it, it will actually show you the actual location. So say for example, you caught it in um, I don't know pa Paris it will show you the location of where in Paris you caught it. So it show you exactly in writing where you caught it um, There's also been some improvement improvements and additions to the Pokemon Go plus um, accessory that you can get with it so a few additions to that and a few um, bug fixes regarding the loading screen and a bug fix regarding the camera and a few other minor bug fixes. So nothing major in, in this um, update to be honest, just a few bug fixes and compatibility updates and stuff like that. So nothing too big, nothing too major. So that's with the update information out of the way. And what I'm going to now show you is you can see the Pokemon Go app on my screen. Now this has not been updated. So if you're on a previous version of a Pokemon Go, so anything below 1.9.0, if you were to try and run the app, this is what you're now going to get. Um, you're going to get this notification screen saying Pokemon Go, a new version is available. Would you like to update? You have to hit on the update to continue. So you have to update the app. So you will be forced to update. Uh, you'll be forced to update the app in order to continue to play the game. And obviously, we're not going to update it through App Store um, since we're going to use a new Pokemon Go um, IPA file. So we, what we're going to do? We're going to first delete this from our home screen. Delete. So that's now gone. So our, our iPhone is now ready. And if you look on my desktop, you can see the new IPA file Pokemon Go plus plus um, 1.9.0 so this is the new Pokemon Go app which is 1.9.0 the latest version um, in the app store and it comes with the PokeGo++ plus plus hack 1.6 R11 which, which is the same exact version as my previous video so the hack version and details and features that's all the same there's nothing there's nothing new in that the only difference to this um, app is just a Pokemon Go version which has been updated. So that's, this is the um, hacked um, IPA file that comes with the Pokemon Go++ hack. I'll leave a, uh, a link in my description below so you can download that. You're also going to need to see their impactor as well. I'll also leave a link to that. So first of all, to get started, what you need to do uh, is extract CD Impactor. So if you've got WinRAR or whichever extracting software you get, with, with WinRAR, you can just simply select the third option here. It'll extract it to a folder in the same location right there. So what you need to do is you need to open it and you need to open this impactor.exe software, which will then in turn open up the CD Impactor software. So there it is, CD Impactor is now open. We can close down this folder. Uh, now what you need to do to the, for this CD Impactor is exactly the same steps that we followed in our last video. You need to connect your iPhone to it, sideload the app, and it will then get loaded onto your screen. So let's just quickly go through this process um, on this video. I'm gonna speed it up or, or, or I will skip it. Now as you can see um, here is my iPhone is now being connected to CD Impactor. What you need to do, go get the um, IPA file that you download. Um, you need to drag it uh, and drop it on top of the CD Impactor software. 
you'll be presented with your ID, Apple ID logins. Um, so put in that information. I'm going to use the same email that I used in my previous video. Put in the password and it would then start the process. You're gonna get a, let, wait for it to pop up. There you go, you're gonna get the Apple developer warning pop up, just hit on okay, and then it'll quickly go through the rest of the process in installing the um, app. It's gonna take about a minute or two, just give it a while. I'm gonna skip through it in this video. All right, it's at the verifying application stage. So it should be coming up now. In the next few seconds, it'll, uh, it'll be completed. And there we go. We've now got the Pokemon Go app on our, uh, on our home screen. We can close it out of the Impact. We don't need that anymore. Um, now straight into our iPhone. Now you can see now it's there, Pokemon Go. If you were to click on the Pokemon Go app, you get the untrusted developer warning. So it's the same process that we did in our previous video. You need to go into settings, go into general, scroll down to device management. Go to the email that you used in CD Impactor and you need to trust that email and hit on trust. There we go, that has now trusted that email that you used in CD Impactor. Now, if you go back to Pokemon Go, click on it and it will now load up. There you go, you get a Niantic, uh, Niantic splash screen. Give you a few minutes on the splash screen, it does take a bit of a time as well. Um, but then it will eventually load up and you'll be able to. Um, continue and play the game all right here we go there's the app you all loaded up and obviously you can you can see the joystick so the first thing i'm going to do you can go straight into settings turn the joystick off turn this option on as well dismiss map upon all care fake location is turned on time to save location is forever so we're going to do the same settings as we did in our previous video and share pokemon data turn that off all right, hit on done. The location has now disappeared and all your options are exactly the same as um, previously in my previous video. Uh, so these are all the PokeGo++ uh, Plus Plus hack options and the features. What you need to do now is just set up your um, Pokemon Go. So just do a date of birth, whatever date of birth you're gonna do. It doesn't really matter to be honest. And then log in with your account, either your Google account or your Pokemon Trainer account. So I'm gonna log in and I'm gonna come straight back into the app. Right, so I have now logged into my low level account and I have also traveled over um, to near Greenwich Park. You can see there's a Rattata right near us as well, but I'm not gonna catch that Rattata. I do not want a Rattata. But yeah, we've traveled over to near Greenwich Park. If I go into the map, uh, Greenwich Park is around, there's Greenwich Park right there. And we are right there next to where that Rattata is. So that's where we are. And that's where Greenwich Park is. So that's where we've traveled over to. Now, as you can see, um, this game is, uh, this game, uh, the latest version works perfectly fun with the PokeGo++ Plus Plus hack. You get the same exact features um, as you get um, in, in the, along with the previous version that we had in my previous video. So the, ha the hack itself is all still the same. There's nothing new. It's the same exact version. So you've got your settings that we went through earlier, which you can set to your liking. Um, so you've got the map, so that's uh, your Poke radar along with your map, shows you what Pokemons are ne nearby, where you are located, and you can also travel to wherever you want to go. Um, you've got the um, scan feature there as well, which so shows you which Pokemons you have traveled by or went past. You can select that Pokemon and it will show you in the map where they are. Now these Pokemons are pretty far away, yeah they, they're really far away, apart from that Rattata. So um, yeah, so that's the scanner feature, which is still there. Um, so that's the map. You still got the IV calculator and detail. So it shows you the Pokemon IVs that you ha have caught and the stats. Um, what else? You've got your patrol mode as well. So you can patrol around. You've got the, your speed options, one times, two times, four times, and eight times. So now it's patrolling at eight times. Then you can go back down to one, two, or eight yeah so you can patrol whichever one you want you're gonna you are gonna get this alert quite regularly so you just hit i'm a passenger um take off patrol mode um you've got your walking feature so if you tap on that you can then walk um whichever direction you want to by just using your finger or your thumb on the screen and obviously one time speed is too slow so there's four times 
So you've got the same exact feature of the hack. So what I'm going to try and do is uh, let's go catch a Pokemon somewhere. So let's find a Pokemon somewhere near us. Let's just walk around quickly. Hopefully a Pokemon will spawn somewhere. If we just walk around nearby to this area. I know there, there is a whole bunch of Pokemon that just spawned a little while ago. We can use the map. Just going to the map, we can use the map. So there is, what's that? Is that a Spearow? So let's go and catch that Spearow. Oh, okay, we can catch that Pidgey, I guess. Oops, I just I just missed tapping it. Where's the Spearow? I wanted the Spearow. Alright, we'll catch that Drowsy then. Let's catch that Drowsy since the Drowsy appeared. And there's a Spearow. So there's a Drowsy and a Spearow. We'll catch both of them. So we'll go for the Spearow first. Oh, okay, we'll go for the Drowsy since you want to go to the Drowsy. Uh, Pokemon Go allow, actually the camera don't allow, I don't like the camera feature, uh, find it annoying. So attack 2, defense 15, stamina 9. So let's catch this, so you just catch the Pokemon in the same exact, same exact way that you would. Nothing's changed about that. There we go. Now that was a 98 CP Drowsy. Now where's that Spearow gone? That Spearow has disappeared. Let's go back over here, it'll probably appear there's a Meowth nearby in our sightings as well. There's a few Pokemon nearby in our sightings. So you can just put your finger on your screen and just walk around in whichever direction you want. Maybe that Spearow has disappeared, it's probably despawned. Now he's right there, so let's try and catch that Spearow. If it is still there, I'm not even sure if it's still there or not. There, no, there's an Eevee. Alright, we'll catch this Eevee instead. That Spearow has probably disappeared. So tap the Eevee, you will then walk over to where the Eevee is located. And there's the Eevee, so we're going to catch the Eevee. Attack 9, Defense 3, Stamina 2. 69 CP Eevee. Chuck the Pokeball. And we have caught the Eevee. Right, so if we, so there's the 69 CP EV, now if we scroll down on here, there you can see it shows London, England, United Kingdom. So that's what it shows now, it doesn't show you the map anymore. Before in this area, it used to show you like a map with a pin drop of where you found that Pokemon, but now it just shows you the actual location. So London, England, United Kingdom, if we go back to po our Poke, not Pokedex, Go back to our, if we go to our Pokemon and find an IA CP Drowsy that we caught earlier, scroll down on him, it'll also show uh, London, England, United Kingdom. So that's the subtle update difference to this app. And obviously, the rest of the updates are just little minor bug fixes and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, for this update. Um, there's not much else to it, so this is Pokemon Go version 1.9.0 running on iOS version uh, version 10.0.2 along with the PokeGo++ hack. So I hope this video has been useful, if you have liked it and you found it useful, uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave me some comments. Just to point out as well, this hack and the latest version of Pokemon Go also works on any version on iOS 9 as well and it also works on iOS 8 so iOS 8 anything from iOS 8 and above the app and the hack works without any issues so um yeah like I said if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up subscribe leave me some comments and I will catch you guys in the next video until then stay safe